Let's put this down. Lower music. That's better, right? That must be way better. That's good. I think that's good. <laughs> Sorry, the music was quite loud. Um, welcome to a playthrough of Victoria 2. It's an awesome game. Um, it's basically happening from the year 1836, no, like after Napoleon, after in the, in the now we have multipolar world with Austria, Prussia, United Kingdom, and France, and Russia actually being the major powers, Spain as well. Either guy, yeah, <laughs> right. That was a horrible explanation. Um, and I'm gonna play an interesting country. I was thinking about playing an American country, like South American maybe. And I was thinking about playing Haiti, and I did a little bit of Haiti playing. Problem is, it's really hard <laughs> to play Haiti. Well, main mainly because uh, it's a really poor country, like uh, resource-wise, um, and that makes it interesting on, on the other hand, because it's m way harder than playing, for example. Austria or Prussia because they are rich in resources resources um, and it's also it's a civilized nation but it's not really that foreign technology it's an interesting country I thought it was small it's kind of interesting quite like its position and stuff but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> problem was we, I played for like 10 years or what is it oh, three years three years and I was like nothing happened my whole it was very stagnated and I didn't really like that um, so I'm thinking about playing something else um, maybe play Peru or an another South American country um, not really sure which one though um, Argentina will be interesting Chile Chile um, yeah it's all interesting let's, let's see uh, Paraguay, Paraguay is probably gonna be destroyed immediately, Ecuador, because I think Brazil wants a piece of that. I'm pretty sure it will. When uh, United States, Central America, are interesting. I really think Haiti is interesting. Also, um, should I play Haiti? I shouldn't, right? Should I do that? I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> I did that before. Um, and it's not the easiest game to play Haiti. As you can see, resource-wise, it only has tobacco, which is like, um, yeah, 20, 21, and like the second one is 0 0.02. So just to have an idea of how much it is dependent on tobacco, or like one resource, not even like a high tire, high tier resource. It's tobacco. You mean okay? You can't find it everywhere. Like what it's worth? It's worth like this 1.1. Compared to oil or coal or silk, which are pretty good resources, or like artillery, canned food, <laughs> small arms, luxury clothes, you know, all these things are worse stuff. Like all this, it's, it's opium, it's going rising because it's, it's, it's sort, sort of luxury good. But tobacco is also sort of luxury good, but uh, compared to the US, look what they export. It's like 389. We export. 22. <laughs> well, look, so that's it. We have nothing. We even sell less than people who sell fish. I think it's, oh no, cheap wool is worse, but except apart from wool, I think this is the cheapest resource in the game. Yes, it's worth the less. It's not high in demand or anything. It's not like going up. Supply is way too much. There's not enough demand. And that's our resource. That's what we have to live off. So just to get scales of what's going on compared to Cuba let's see okay never mind Cuba is also all of uh, oh okay all tobacco uh, but yeah we are not rich at all um, we have a low literacy which is important we have I'm gonna put up my education and administration I'm the sort of person who goes all for the education I think your tech is the most important thing. I don't know what to uh, put money in first, uh, and maybe it's not a bad idea to put in this industry. Um, let's see, railroads. Steel doesn't make sense because we don't have anything like that. We should actually just go for making our um, the resource we have 
be more effective. Uh, railroads is a good idea, probably. Um, and we have. Um, you're not gonna learn anything. You're gonna learn watching. I'm gonna just pff, go at random. Um, go sensor press. I was thinking about going only landed, but I looked at population. That's why I played for three years, so I have quite like a good idea of what is going on somewhere. And like I'm gonna deselect, right? We don't have any capitalists. We only have aristocrats, and they're pretty much yeah conservative. So if we let them vote, it's not gonna do any good for us. Real, right? We want to be just, we are a presidential dictatorship, we want our party, which is the Liberal Party apparently, to be on top. So that's why I am gonna put first, uh, I'm gonna put center press first, because I want to be pretty much towards Liberal. It's it's more interesting, because otherwise you're just gonna have to like, wait 100 years and then it's gonna be like, yeah, whatever. We stay the course. Okay. So, um, and it's also important for your literacy. If you have this, it really works against your literacy, which is important for your in for your technology. This is your research points, which, go which goes into technology daily. It's influenced by literacy, civilized or not civilized, which we luckily are. Otherwise, we had nothing. Or research point, nothing. <laughs> you have plurality. Plu oh god, <laughs> plurality is getting late. It's plurality, which um is uh, basically your shared idea of having, you know, your political culture, your socialization, your idea of going through the same things, your your sort of national unity. It's like a sort of sort of vague thing like that. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of abstract. We have a what's that? National value order. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. I guess. Okay. And by the way, I'm drinking tea, just so you know. Um, and I'm gonna go for uh, depths first. We're gonna go into depths. That's pretty sure we're going to do that. Um, yeah, we're learning from the United Kingdom and China. Not even taking money from China now. That's uh, I don't I don't have a problem with that, but it's kind of weird. That's all. I'm kind of a fan of deficit spending, I guess, um, to put your economy um, back uh, on track. It was not smart to put the artillery first. I'm gonna put that away and let build it last. Because <laughs> that, that's gonna have a problem. That's gonna have trouble getting there. And this is gonna cost a lot of money. But this is good for the economy. Um, and also we will need other resources because we are not exporting anything but um, so I'm gonna buy coal. It's important for our artisans. You see, and we are, as you can see, we are definitely going to deficits, but we need to have our populace first of all growing, which is important. It's growing at the moment, but it's not necessarily gonna stay that way. Soldiers are growing. That's good. That's good. Um, we want that. We don't really necessarily want the big military. We d we just want the big populace. It it has a lot of value to it. I want to diversify the economy, which is really hard because we don't have anything. And I think that's gonna have to happen. Um, oh, that's an, uh, that's a piece of army. That's uh, yeah, that's you. Great, first army, no leader. Okay. Oh, there we go. So we have something going on, and we're gonna build. Oh, never mind. I was thinking about building a fort, but who's gonna attack us? Let's see. I my guess is. Because um, big countries, these are the great powers, they can influence nations. And yes, as I thought, the USA is going to influence us. Flu influence us. They want us in their boat. And I wouldn't mind. So I'm going to get good with them. I'm going to put some diplomacy points into increasing our relations. Go for an alliance if they would like to. At this moment, they absolutely, absolutely wouldn't. But that's fine. I'm going to just take it slowly. Um... And then hopefully, hopefully they will. Uh, yeah, we'll get all allied with them. If we would be, oh, Texas is getting destroyed by Mexico. By the way, we can look at the wars so which are going on here. Only two: Tripoli. Uh, okay, Let's see, Ottoman Empire versus Tripoli. Restoration. That's what they call it. That's what they call it back then. Um, sometimes they call it like that now. 
Not so much has changed since the way we used to look at things, but we just give it a different different name. It's my opinion. Well, and then war of independence of Texas and uh, Mexico is just destroying Texas. Um, yeah. History, history, people, history. Um, there we go. There we go. Look, the country is poor. The country is really poor. We've got nothing, <laughs> um, and our people are feeling it. And we are getting more conservative and reactionary. As you can see, the upper party, the upper house, has drastically changed. But on the other hand, we have censor, we have censor press. Oh, never mind. We are having more free press, like free air press. We are pretty. Yeah, we are really not. Wow, well, we are. Yeah. But back in those days, it wasn't really a problem. I mean, that's just the way it was back then, I guess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Artillery. Oh, let's see, that's okay. We are going deficit all the way, um, which is you know in the beginning it's not really a problem. It's only really a problem. It will be a problem in the long run. Be, sh be sure of that. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not a problem. It definitely is, but I think it's what our country needs at the moment. Um, I'm afraid. Um, and if we would be able to build some ships, right? But that's even more expensive, because this is all really expensive, right? Um, it might be useful in the long run. I, I, I again, I'm, I'm not too sure. I. We don't have anything close here um, that we could attack. We can't go like, hey, um, USA, you have that nice Florida thing going on. How about, you know, do you really need that? No, <laughs> they need that. We can't really take that from them. Also, they're, you know, they're this. Military power-wise, they're 14, which is not insane, but we are too. And you can see they're like seven times as strong. Also, their technology, military technology is going to be like way better. Like, at least two is better um at least i guess uh, and uh so if we were to uh get some you know some different territory which i think we need uh i'm afraid we'll have to uh annex other countries a possibility but not really possible <laughs> so not real possibility will be hawaii right um it is um, uncivilized, so we have a Casas Valley against this, which you can see here. I'm gonna show you quickly. You're not gonna learn a lot, though. I'm gonna try and explain what I can, but... These things are Casas Bellies. Um, this is our diplomatic map mode. We can see what is Casas Belly by seeing the colors. These are all Casas Bellies for reasons, demand concessions, which means they are uncivilized, quote-unquote. I'm putting the fingers up right now. I'm putting my fingers in, like, the V things, which you, you know, the things. Um, they are uncivilized, so to speak. Um, so this is us. Uh, so we have a good ex uh, excuse to, you know, civilize them. Let's say. Let's explain this further. Um, this is the Netherlands, and they have a Casas Belly on Belgium because Belgium used to be part of the United Kingdom of the uh, Netherlands, right? Um, but they um, seceded. They um, got their independence. So they still have a claim on it. They can renounce it, but that's an event. Um, Normally you can, but they have an event called London Treaty, in which they can renounce that um, claim. But uh, they have a claim on Belgium, which you can see by these stripes here. And this is saying they have a Casas Valley on it. And this is lighter green, if you can see it. Uh, this is Luxembourg, this is in there. Um, this is a satellite of them. But it's also the same color for, as you can see, satellites. Because Papal States... No, no, not satellites. Um, spheres of Influence. Oh god, our money! Ooh, we just barely didn't go into deficit. Wow. Um, see, we are getting a lot of uh, debts. See, um, and I think we should invest in army and ships. And first thing we're gonna do is take some land. I was gonna say, like, we're gonna play this peacefully because we're a small country and stuff, but Morocco is looking nice today. And also, <laughs> also, if we don't take anything, we're just gonna bleed to death. I know it's not nice. It's not the way it's supposed to happen, and I wish I wouldn't didn't have to do it. Ah, oh. do I have to do it? I think I do. See, that's what I, I'm like. If I could, I wouldn't, but I'm like, 
what would we do if we wouldn't, like, are we gonna be fine? Um, free press! Yeah, that, that was um, an event in which um, you can, okay, we're gonna just build clipper transports, which is ships, three ships, um, which cost a lot of money. So we're gonna just build those and not build anything else, okay? So we're gonna see our money just deplete drastically over time. Yeah, we're gonna be we're just building like the load tires, just enough to be put these three on a ship, which is not that much. It's not even enough to fight um, in uh, Morocco. I'm pretty sure of it. So we're gonna have to take something else, which is. But it's all too far away. We can't really take anything else. Mm. Oh wow. We can't do anything. We are really screwed. We are screwed. Do you want to be an ally? You don't want to be an ally? Would you be friends with us? There we go. How is that influence going? Are you still influencing us? You are. You are. Okay. Soon we will be in their sphere of influence, but we can do stuff. It's not like we are, are uh, too fast or anything. We are. Yeah. We will have independence in a way. <laughs> um, one more. Because it's expensive, but we have to do it. We have to do it. Look, our middle class is doing quite alright for itself. Um, I am thinking about even upping deficit spending by going uh-huh like that it's actually not that much like I mean and that would mean we have people being have feeling good about uh, it's like they have life needs they get subsidized which means our populace will grow which means we will grow stronger see and that's about that's what it's about um, at this moment we are definitely <laughs> overspending on military but, uh, there we go, our first ship. I'm gonna wait a while. Um, they're all being built in the same harbor. Mm, that slows it down, but I don't think we're in a hurry either. We are kind of in a hurry. Oh, why am I... Uh, okay. So we're gonna go deficit spending some more. As you can see, <laughs> there is a trend. Um, and... I'm not going to be... Um, I'm not... I don't want to sound uh, desperate or stuff, but I think we are not going to make this. But hey, chin up. Um, how many are there? <laughs> and I would go like, so, go, to, for, go for Hawaii, for example. That's small, it's easy to conquer, but it's away. And there's no Panama can Channel yet, so we'll have to go all the way around, and by then our ships will have vanished. So the best chance is Morocco, but that's probably stronger, like military-wise. Is Tunisia fighting the Ottoman Empire? Is Tunisia... Wow, they're fighting back, but they're not gonna win that, though. Persia would be interesting, but that's also too far away. Way too far away. Algeria would be interesting. I'm just thinking, let, let me think, just for a second, right? What you could do. Um, yeah. So there's only this, I think. Um, there is Sokoso, but we'll have to go. This is Portugal, we can't do that. Zulu, but that's, again, too far away. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, I, I think we'll have to go for Morocco. It's simple as that. And we're gonna lose that battle, but... If that's the case... Uh, yeah, well... That, that, yeah, well... <laughs> there's nothing we can do about that, I guess. Oh, there's gonna be railroads, which is good. Um, yeah. We are losing so much money. Are we building more? Yeah. Um, fine. I don't even know if we're gonna make it there. <laughs> because our naval is also pretty... I mean, this is our navy technology. It's really bad. Um, it's, which is ridiculous, because we are like an island. We have nothing surrounding us, so we should have a good navy. If we have a strong navy, that's all we need to defend ourselves. Um, but, yeah. We don't so. Alright, I'm gonna stop it here. Right before we are getting 
or right before, like a few months before, we're gonna experimental ra railroad. So our plan is, we are going to annex some random European, uh, North African country, probably Morocco, and get resources, and hopefully that will do something for us, because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I mean, wow. We are, we are in need. Look, we are helping our populace. We are doing good. We are, we are a very good government, I, I, I believe. Except for the fact that we are going to exploit and take over other countries. Which is ridiculous again, because we are like this thing. And we rule this thing. So that will be ridiculous also. You know. Not only the size, just the colonization thing, but whatever. Um, yeah. That's what we're going to do. That's, that's, that's plan of attack. Let's see if that works. <laughs> I'm very surprised if that would work myself. So, uh... See you next time. Bye.